guest claims to have had multiple close encounters with the third kind and believes that she's actually seen more than one UFO. Well, now Joe Wood is joining a week-long celebration of all things extraterrestrial. It's UFO Week. Uh, she joins us now. It's lovely to so see. So nice. Her. And so there's a well, there's a, a series of of documentaries um, yeah. on Blaze on Sky, yeah. uh, and uh, and it starts at tonight at nine. Yeah. Uh, and that's on until Sunday. Um, all sorts of different documentaries. So this is right amazing. up your street, because you were here in 2019. You'd was had it a 2019? I think it was 2019. No. A couple of encounters. So just remind us of, of, of why you got in, interested and what you have seen. Yeah, well, <clears throat> it sort of stems back from when I was a kid and my dad was reading the Sunday magazine and it, ha it was excerpts from the book Chariots of the Gods. And it was all about, you know, things explaining about the UFOs going over Bethlehem and the wise men and Mary the Virgin. All the, it gave answers to all that. And I thought, how fascinating. And me and my brother used to talk about what's out there. So then, fast forward till about 18 years ago, and I was on holiday with Ronnie and and the kids, and I was packing, and it was at night, and he said, quick, come and see what, there's these weird lights over the sea. So I went outside, and there was, over the sea, this thing hanging there, and the lights going down onto the water, and then he ran in to get his glasses, and it lifted, went to the right, and then shot across the sky. I mean, that's an unusual, like, movement sight. That doesn't... Yeah. You can't explain that, girl, well, that's a plane. I mean, that plane doesn't move like that. No, I And said, then there was another time when you were actually on a plane. With Ty... And my son, Tyrone, said, Mum, look out the window. And this greeny, bluey orb flew right down the side of the plane. And we were 34,000 feet up. You were scared. No, I was, like, fascinated because I love it all, you know. You love it. And you've seen other things since then. Yes. And even your grandkids have seen things. Yeah, and my granddaughter wrote to me a text the other night and said, Gran, look at this. She said, outside the window. And she sent me two pictures of these three little lights. She said it's just been going back and forwards in the sky. And she said, now it's shot off. That's what we've got there. Look, you can oh, yeah, that's it. see the three lights. Yeah. What, what is that then? She didn't, is I said... Is it a drone? I, no, it was it was about eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. She was still awake, and it was a school night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's naughty, even worse. naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, it's it is it is extraordinary that you see you know you see these sorts of things, um, and there uh, it doesn't necessarily mean to say that they are aliens. They are just unidentified yes. flying objects. Yes. And uh, and the um, the um, uh, Americans have been fascinating uh, because uh, the the Pentagon. UFO videos which were released, the recordings from cockpits from United States Navy fighter jets. They said that they hadn't spent uh, any money. Uh, Project Blue they had, um, and it was uh, reportedly closed in 1969, sort of looking into the study of UFOs by the Air Force. But in fact... It wasn't um, true, yeah. It wasn't true. The US government continued to research the unexplained. $22 million over five years. And these are things that the, that the planes have, have found. But... The thing is that they released them. So there's, there's, it, you, you can think, oh, they're keeping it all quiet, they're keeping it all quiet, but the Pentagon released them. But the videos. Pentagon released them and they said they were... They called them Tic Tacs because they looked like Tic Tacs and they could move in such a way they couldn't go any which way and then shoot off at unbelievable speed and the pilots are there going, what the hell is this, what the hell is this? And then the government admitted, yes, these are unidentified flying objects. So, so it's now up to us to decide what we what we think they are. Yeah. And well, when you think the universe is so big, it would yeah. be awful if we were alone. Well, it would be. I yeah. agree. And actually, there's a, one of the other documentaries, and this one's extraordinary, and this is about the school in Zimbabwe, oh, uh, the aerial school. I love this. 62 kids all saw a sighting of a, a spaceship landing in a field next and to the school. An alien getting out. An alien getting out, and having the... a conversation telepathically. Yes. And the, all the kids do, did a drawing. All the kids said they had big... It had big black eyes. And they all drew the similar picture. They, and then years later, they came back and, and they, all of them said, yeah, I remember it like it was so clear. And they, apparently it, it telepathically communicated uh, a message to, to save the environment. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? They're well, out that here is. to look after us. Do, do you believe that they are amongst us 
I mean, because that's one of the other documentaries as well, is that it's saying that they have lied about alien presence on Earth. Yeah. Do you believe oh, that? Uh, yes, I'm sure, because if you've got the technology to go through space and time, you, got the, you, you can come down here and, I don't know, you can be around us, couldn't you? I don't know. But I, mean, uh, we don't know. I think there are many different aliens, different beings. There's too many planets out there for them to be one lot. Mm. So I think there are many different beings. Who knows if they're scary or... Well, if you if look, at the, look at the pig's ear we're making of this planet and you think, is this the best there is in the entire universe? I know, isn't it you know, You'd sad. hope that someone was getting I slightly really better. I really wish the aliens were coming. Sort it out. Sort it, sort it out. Clean it up. Um, your Alien Nation podcast is, is very open-minded. You have all sorts of yes. guests on it. David Icke was one of them. It sort of has in the past... His comments been quite controversial. Yes. Uh, reptile human hybrids are running the world. They keep us uh, fearful because they they feed off negative energy, of which there is an awful lot at the moment. And fear. Do you do you, do you believe that possibility? It's, it's a it's a far stretch, but you know you just don't know, do you? I mean, I don't know. Reptilians ruling the world. Well. It, it, it does sound a stretch. But they're shape shifters, so that you wouldn't know you that wouldn't if know. they. They could shift into... Why is it... But you do think, like, now... I mean, you can't sneeze without somebody catching it on their camera phone or on somewhere and it appearing online. So much stuff is videoed and documented all the time. Why are we not seeing more? Well, you're not following the right ones, are you? So there is... There is I one. mean, I follow loads of UFO sites and UF on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, I follow loads of things uh, and I'm always looking at... I look at some and say, no, that looks like it's fake. Uh, but some of them are unexplainable. Yeah. Mm. You just don't know. No, You've got to keep no. an open mind because you just don't know. No, it's yes. very, yeah. it's very uh, true. Blaze's UFO Week starts, as I said, tonight at nine on Sky and that runs every night until Sunday for you. I'm going to watch Week. all of those documentaries right up my street. Keep your eyes to the sky. I will, Joe, <laughs> I will. <laughs> yes, I will. Thank you. Right, in just a moment.